Okay. 19 year old female here with pain, right ankle going on for almost a year. Uh, no injury. She does have a ganglion, right medial to the tibialis anterior tendon. We're going to go ahead and do an ultrasound guided aspiration and cortisone injection. Here we're going to go over a ganglion aspiration just above the ankle joint. Here we can see some of the anatomy outline of the anterior ankle. Now we're turning towards the medial ankle where again we can see some of the structures. Here is this fairly sizable ganglion cyst just medial to the tibialis anterior tendon extending proximally where much of the cyst is proximal to the tibiotalar joint. And now we're removing much of the anterior structures and we can see how the stalk of this ganglion is essentially between the navicular and the medial cuneiform bone. Here again are some of the deep structures and some of the neurovascular structures of the anterior ankle as well. Now we're bringing back the anterior structures and here are the positions of the ultrasound probe with the needle. This is an in-plane approach where the ultrasound probe is in an anterior sagittal plane and we're essentially just putting the needle right in that proximal lobule of the cyst and we're aspirating the cyst, getting that thick, clear, gelatinous material. Now we're just removing the probe just so we can see the structures more clearly. Here we are zooming in. So most of the cyst has been aspirated and now towards the end of the procedure we're just injecting cortisone in the cyst. We're at 1544. You can see this pretty large ganglion cyst. There's a little stalk here and it's just medial to the tibialis anterior tendon which we can see over here. Can't really follow that down that stalk clip again. Now we're going to do a little, I'll do a little axe review. Right side of the screen is medial, so we can see the cyst again. And here we can see the tibialis anterior tendon that looks black, secondary to anisotropy. This is somewhat, and then you got the tibialis anterior tendon. Here it is again, black from anisotropy. It looks just like the cyst. And right next to it, which is coming in and out of view with anisotropy. Here again, you can see it without anisotropy as you toggle the probe and it looks like a normal tendon. So you don't want to mistake that for the cyst. Again. At this level, I believe you're at the inferior extensor retinaculum, which you can see overlying the tibialis anterior tendon. There's another lobe to it, so it's not just a simple little cyst. And here you can see the cyst, that it has a lobular type of structure to it. Um, there's the tibialis anterior tendon. Here we are starting the procedure using an 18 gauge needle as we anticipate thick fluid from the ganglion. Again, you're just going barely under the skin here. You want to be careful that you don't get into the tibialis anterior tendon, which you can see here is very close to the ganglion. I'm going to need to know where these are that spray. Ooh, it's coming out. We're just trying to aspirate from the proximal part of this cyst. But then actually as we advanced the needle distally, we were able to get more of the fluid out of it. Perhaps the fluid at that part was a little bit thinner than the rest of the cyst. Here we already can see some of that thick fluid coming into the syringe. And now we're just doing our cortisone injection after the aspiration. See a little blush of fluid there going to where the cyst was.